If the 2009 pandemic had been much more deadly, would that have ended up being a better thing for humanity? I mean, the sad truth is that when there's a major crisis, it focuses attention and usually resources and some significant mobilization falls. So we really do have a problem of how the world perceives influenza, and it's going to be very difficult to change that unless you do it from within and say, I don't care what your perception is, we're going to address the problem in a disruptive way and in an iterative way, because you do need both. To make it sexy, I think we have to, I like the concept, disrupting this field. There might be a need or even an urgent call for uh, an entity right. of excitement out there that's completely disruptive, that's not beholden to bureaucratic strings and, and, and processes. But it is not too crazy to think that an outbreak of an, a novel avian virus could occur in, in China somewhere. We could get the RNA sequence from that, beam it to a number of regional centers, if not local, if not even in your home at some point, and print those vaccines on a patch and self-administer. We need, number one, this time to be different, and we also need to, to really organize ourselves in a way where there will be accountability for sustained action and not just response.